Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. Given the two function where we have the fx which is equal to log bracket 1 minus x and the function of gx where we have x squared plus with the 3x. A. State the domain and range for the f and the f inverse. So my suggestion would be find out the f inverse first. y is equal to fx f inverse of y where we have equal to x so y is equal to log bracket 1 minus x so 10 to the power of y is equal to 1 minus x so x is equal to 1 minus 10 to the power of y so the f inverse of x which is equal to 1 minus 10 to the power of x so that is the function for f inverse so now domain for the f would be refers to the situation we have 1 minus x greater than 0. So x must be less than 1. So the domain for f will be negative infinity until 1, where the 1 is not included. Then, range for the f. Actually, is the domain for the f inverse. So the range would be, refers to the function in this part. As we all know, we are in the exponential function. So the domain will be negative infinity until infinity for the f inverse. So for the range, is equal to the domain for f inverse. So we have negative infinity until infinity. So that is the domain and the range for f and also the f inverse. So domain for the f inverse, we have all real number. Then the range for the f inverse actually equals to the domain, where we have negative infinity until 1, where the 1 is not included. Next, determine whether g is one-to-one -one function or not. Give a reason for your answer and state the range of the g. For this case, my suggestion will be making use of the graphical method. So, number one, the shape is U-shape. Number two, find the x-intercept where y is equal to zero. So, in here, we have x squared plus with the 3x equals to zero. So, x, we have x plus with the 3. So, x is equal to zero, x is equal to negative 3. So, we have the coordinate, 0, 0, and then negative 3, 0. As for the y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, then we have the value of y, which is equal to 0. So we have the coordinate 0, 0. Step number 3, standard form. Where we have gx is equal to x squared plus with the 3x plus, we have the bracket, 3 over 2 bracket square minus 3 over 2 bracket square. So x plus with the 3 over 2 bracket square minus the 9 over 4. So that is the standard form. From the standard form, we have the minimum point, where we have negative 3 over 2, negative 9 over 4. Symmetrical axis, x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Next, refers to the graph. So at first, we have the 0, 0. Then followed by negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 3, 0. Then we have the 0, 0. Continue. We have the minimum point, negative 3 over 2, which is the 1 over 5. So here we have negative 1, negative 2. Continue. 9 over 4, which is 2.25. So we have the situation around here. So kindly sketch the graph. So where we have the situation. So for example, here we have the vertical asymptote. x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So we have the minimum point, negative 3 over 2, negative 9 over 4, where we have the gx function, y-axis and x-axis. So it refers to the graph, making use of the horizontal line test. And we notice that we have two intersection points. So we can say it cut more than one point. So gx is not one to one function so that is the situation and also the reason continue state the range so for this case the range for the g can you refers to the graph or refers to the minimum point the value of y we have negative 9 over 4 until infinity so that is the range can you refers to c find the value of f if the f inverse rho with the g equals to 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 2. So we have 
F inverse rho with the G. So F inverse bracket, we have the GX, where we have X squared plus with the 3X. Can you substitute the situation? So in here, we have 1 minus 10 to the power of X squared plus with the 3X. So as we all know, for the right-hand side, we have 1 minus 10 to the power of X squared plus with the 3X. Next, refers to the left-hand side, where we have 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 2. So can you compare the situation? So if you compare the situation, the negative 2, which is equal to X squared plus with the 3X. So rewrite the situation, x squared plus with the 3x plus with the 2 equals to 0. Factor the situation, x plus with the 2, x plus with the 1. So the value of x will be equal to negative 2, the value of x will be equal to negative 1. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.